Hello and welcome to Supreme Designs. Today's video is on another piece from my Elements in Nature collection, which I've currently got on display at Bayswater in uh, sorry in Bayswater at Ellis House. So for this one, I'm creating an ice scape, and I'm using some of the acrylic shapes to create the melted ice around the edge of the the river that is going to flow through the centre. So all I've done here is I've just mixed a couple of drops of India ink in with the resin and I'm just tinting this ever so slightly and making sure that each of the acrylic shapes is well coated with the resin so that it bonds with the board and with each other. So just going to add a little bit more resin, what was left of that tinted resin, just around the edge, just to make sure that the edges are well coated in resin, just to help aid the flow of resin over the sides when I pour the rest of the colours. So I'm just making sure that's well coated. And I'm going to start with the lighter colour of resin nearest to the, the ice and then I go slightly darker as I move more into the centre so it gives the impression that the centre is deeper than with the edges. So as I mentioned I'm going slightly darker as we move more into the centre and I will put a link to all the products used in the description below. Here I'm just popping some bubbles Next, just using my fingers, I'm actually just dabbling the resin to just blend it ever so slightly. Now, you don't want to over blend this because you want to give the impression of water, so you don't want to over mix it. So, it just creates subtle, subtle ripples in the resin. And now, I'm going to my go to white, which is the Lares Angel White pigment paste. Now, instead of using clear resin underneath, I've actually just poured this straight on the top while the resin's still wet and now using some mineral turpentine I'm just going over the top of the, the angel white and I'm then going to use heat to disperse it. Now you can you don't have to use mineral turpentine, you can actually use a clear layer of resin underneath the white. I, I didn't want to mix up another batch so that's why I'm just using this method. But I also like the way that it breaks up the white. Um, using mineral turpentine so as you can see you get a very nice effect with the white so it looks like there's white foam in the water. As always thank you for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it and it's given you some new resin ideas. If you enjoyed it then please subscribe to my channel or better still go and browse my other videos. I have plenty of ideas to keep you inspired so until next time bye for now.